It is finally here, six videos, seven if you include the haul video. Later, we are now in our final video of the Pure Cosmetics Times Trolls World Tour box set review. We have dug deep into this baby. We have examined each one of the different eyeshadow uh, mini uh, eyeshadow cubes, we'll call them, in the, the collection. There are six of them. We did the face palette. We did the lip gloss We came it came with. We looked at all of it. We are finishing up today. So we will get our final bracket official ranking for what the best and worst palette is. And I'm also going to rank my favorite to least favorite look because going back and looking at some of the footage after we've posted it and I've gotten some of Nikki's still photos back. I've realized that there's actually some looks that as a whole I liked that kind of I like more than the way I rank the palette. So I, I kind of wanted to give you guys uh, a little, little taste of that too. So, so we are finishing this off today. Our final palette is the Country Western palette. I will say just now looking at it, it's pretty I have some concerns and I don't know, I may be just like overthinking this, but I feel like perhaps like they've done a good job of keeping the color schemes like relatively workable with each other. And so this one for me, I feel like is going to be a little bit more challenging for what I'm looking for. I'm not really sure I feel the like super dark brown purple and the kind of like mauve color over here in terms of like everything else is this kind of like burnt orange or yellow shade. And I really like that, especially for country Western. Like I love the mustard yellow with the touch of shimmer. I really like the orange that's in the center. I love this pretty gold. And then you've got this nice kind of like dusty rose, like blending shade. But these two, I just feel like are not really conducive to the, the look that they're trying to go with or the color scheme they're trying to go with. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this palette. Um, it definitely was not one of the ones I was most excited for if I'm being honest, but we will see. My goal, my idea, since I've given you guys the rundown for each one of the, the looks so far, my idea may change because I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm thinking I'm probably not even gonna try and use him because he's the most purpley of all of them. So I'm thinking maybe this for my outer corner, we're gonna do a really wide dusting of the yellow. We're gonna do a little bit more of a concentrated crease dusting of this really nice orange shade. And then um, we're gonna use this as probably a blending shade and we're going to do this as um, just like a, I think the yellow is probably going to be the lid shade as well. So I think I'm going to do just like a really heavy, like all around, all here, which I don't normally do. Then we'll do the brown here, we'll do orange here, and then we'll do the highlight shade here and use the little uh, blending shade as a blending shade. So that's, that's better idea of what I'm thinking. It may change, it has changed a couple times uh, while I'm in the, the process of doing it, but that's kind of what I'm seeing with this particular one. So let me stop rambling and let's start getting into the good stuff. So we are starting off with the yellow and I am going to just color my entire eyelid with that, um, which is not normally how I would do my makeup, but I really think that that's going to be the, the best way to handle this particular palette. There's a very fine line when you're only getting six shades in a palette, I think. Uh, I personally would choose more matte shades normally, but I do like to have at least two, what I would call like heavy shimmer shades that can be used one as like a highlight shade and one as the lid shade. And we don't really have that in this palette. So we're going to adjust by doing this, which has a touch of shimmer in it, but is still overall a pretty um, like neutral, not too shimmery shade, so. I actually really like that. I like I like the way that it ap applied on the lid. I like that on the lid, it definitely looks a little bit more shimmery than it does like up here. I, I'm a big fan of that actually. I, I think that was a good choice. So what was your favorite look, Nikki? I probably have to say, I really enjoyed the pop look. Really? I liked the, the pop look the best, but I, I, I liked the techno outfit the best. So I'm a little torn. But That's... I think that the pop makeup turned out really good. That's so funny because I really did not like the pop makeup at all. I was just like, no, not a fan. And Nikki's like, yeah, I like that so much. I mean, you know me, I like pretty pinks. Yeah, I mean, I normally do too, but that was the issue is I was like, I've got so many pinks and this is just kind of like, mm. And I, I get that. As far as like the versatility of the palettes go, I would probably say the rock one. Was yeah. probably the most versatile. It definitely had the most things that you could do with it. While I felt like the, 
the pop palette really was just, it was just a pink palette. It was pink, it really was. And it's hard when there are just so many really pretty pinks in the market that it's, it, I just feel like buying that one at $18 full price if you're gonna make that choice, just doesn't seem worth it to me because you're only getting six shades and they just are not revolutionary. And so that's that's why I ranked it so low and I've kept it so low for, for such a while. I would say but I don't know. that this box set is really good if you're just starting out, trying to get into, you're, you're trying to build up your your makeup repertoire and it gives you a lot of really good basic palettes. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. But it, it, I would agree that I don't think that any particular one is exceptionally like game changing. To be honest, the only one, I would agree with that, but actually after having gone back and watched the Techno video now, I think the Techno palette is my, I know I ranked the, the rock the first because I think I'll use it the most, but I think for what you get in the colors of the Techno, even though I was disappointed with the first two, the way that they applied and then the, the look I was able to create with it, that is something I don't have in my collection. And it is such a nice little thing. And that jumpsuit, I just happened to buy at the same time. And so it just happened to work out absolutely perfectly. But depending on what happens with COVID, if we wind up going on the cruise that we're supposed to go on on Christmas, um, which we don't know because I'm not getting on a cruise ship if COVID's still really bad. So that's kind of where I'm sitting. But um, we're supposed to be on a cruise on Christmas and I will definitely um, bring that palette with that jumpsuit so I can wear it and create a very similar look because I really thought they did so well together and I wasn't expecting it. So that is the, I, I do agree, but at the same time, what you're saying is right. But you think about the price point at $98 for the set. I just don't know if it's worth it. It's a lot. You know? I, I also think that if you're, if you're trying to get a, a a bunch of a variety of things, $98 might not be that bad because it is still pure. It is still like- Pure is a great brand, yes, I'm not- What is it, six palettes in total? Six face palettes, palette? a face palette and the, okay, but here's, so here's my counter to that. While I'm talking, I'm gonna go ahead and do the blending shade too with that like kind of neutral shade just up on my brow line. So my counter to that is, yes, great point, absolutely excellent. But I'm I'm just going to say like offhand, I know if, especially if you wanna keep it in the pure family, the crystal clear palettes. I mean, they don't have the blues and they don't have all the colors, but you got, I think you got like something like 40 eyeshadow colors. Then you got like three highlighters, like six cheek colors and some contour too. Like that and that thing full price was $38. And then you've got, things like just thinking about what we've done recently, the Patricia Bright Rich in Color palettes, all those bright shades, you get 28 shades with that and it's $25 full price. So $98, like that's a lot of money. There's not a lot of makeup stuff. I spent a lot of money on makeup and there's not a lot of makeup bundles and stuff that I would willingly spend $98 on. I didn't spend it on this. I thought about it. And honestly, if I had paid $98 for it, I probably would be a little upset if I'm just being 100% real because I really do think that it was, you're paying for the fact that it's trolls. It sounds bad, but that's kind of how I feel about it. After having gone through all the palettes, like they're great. I'm not saying that I've really liked most of the looks that we've created with them. And the, the review has been fun and I will definitely use them again. But $98 is such a steep price point. I really think you're paying for the fact that it is a DreamWorks collaboration. You know? Okay, so we have uh, sufficiently uh, applied the base color and then done the dusting of the blending shade. And I really like it. Really like both these colors. There is a lot of fallout. I've said this for every single palette. There is fallout with these palettes. Yeah, I, there's no way around it. It's, it's. I've used different brushes. I've tested different things. They're, they're, they're falling out. But I really love the mustard shade. I like the, um, the kind of, it, it's almost like a neutral tan, but it's just a little bit darker than like my pale ass flesh tone. So it actually does still give you like a little bit of like a dimension of color, which I like a lot. So I'm, I'm happy with the two shades that I've used so far. I am interested now to go in and use the middle shade, which is kind of like an orangey sh shade. It's, it's not quite orange. It's more of like a pink orange when you really look at it up close, but I'm kind of excited to see how that works. And I am just gonna do that just like a little bit in my crease and then blend it out because I don't want it to be overwhelming in the yellow, but I do want it to be there if that makes sense. That really does, that, that plays very well with the other two colors. It makes a very nice transition shade. You can always already see it. Like I'm excited to see how it looks. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I actually want to really see how it looks when you blend it out. But you can tell that they 
these three colors really play very nicely with each other. I do think that that glitter shade is also going to really complement them. That's where I come back to my initial statement of like, I'm really not sure where the purple comes into play though. I just, I really would have preferred them just to like give you like a nice light brown shade and a medium brown shade or a dark brown shade and a medium brown shade rather than having them have these like purple tinges. I wasn't on the design team, I don't know, but that would be my preference. I really like how it's it's really complementing each other very nicely. And you guys can't see my dress right now, but it has green in it. And I think that really is gonna play well too when you guys can see the whole look outside. I'm almost, I, I really like it so much that I'm almost tempted not to touch the last two teller, colors and just do the, the highlight shade. So I'm definitely gonna do the darker shade on my under eye. So let's go ahead and, and try him out. Okay, now that I've thought, I've contemplated deeply, I've stared into my own eyes and my own soul, and I like how this looks right now. I really do, and I don't want to mess it up by adding too much because I think that um, any great artist knows you have to know when to censor yourself and to say, you know, you can keep adding or you can just call it done. So um, for this purpose, Technically, I've used five of the six colors, which has been the goal. Um, the, the lash brown shade, obviously, I just used it on my under eye, so it didn't get a whole lot. I think it looks good, and I think it's gonna play well with the outfit I'm wearing, and I don't really wanna mess it up by adding too much and then muddying it up or doing anything like that. I do wanna show off these really pretty golden colors. So we're gonna keep it worth that. Now, Nikki had a great idea, and he suggested that instead of doing the full ranking system here with all the ranking of the outfits and the palettes and tacking it on at the end of the video we make you guys wait so uh if you guys are upset with waiting then uh blame nikki for that one but i do think that i do want to save that and we're going to do a full video where i can just kind of really dig deep into what i like about each palette do i think this is worth it and why i know we've touched on that but once again hopefully if somebody's looking like they're just searching to see like, hey, do I wanna buy this palette? Maybe they are more likely to click on that than clicking on a review of just one single uh, eyeshadow palette and then they'll hear my ideas. So that's why I'm going to save it. I hope you guys are okay with that. I am sorry if I gave you guys a false hope that you're going to get a final ranking. I know you've been waiting with bated breath to see what I rank each one of these palettes in the order, what I rank the outfits in the order, but I do think it's going to be really helpful if there is a video that just is kind of dedicated to whether or not it is worth spending $98 on this particular bundle set. So that's why we're gonna wait. So um, if you have complaints, send your messages to Nikki. Um, his uh, email is nikki at nikki.nikki.com. That's his email, I'm not kidding. So after having just done one eye's worth of um, eyeshadow, yeah, I, re I really like it. I really like this look, actually. I love it way more than I like the classical. Uh, I do still have complaints about those two purple shades. I really do. Uh, I'm gonna stop harping on them because it's not worth it, so. Mm. But I like the look. I like the colors. I like the way they play off each other. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it. I really like it a lot. I do, I get country western vibes from it. It's very like deserty with that like burnt orange and the, the yellow and it just, it, I think theme wise it plays well with it. I will never understand their idea to put the two colors that they put in for the last two, but here we are. So yeah, so I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I will go ahead and give you guys just the eyeshadow look ranking in this video and then we will dig deeper into it in a separate video because I do, I, I've done it for every other video. I hate to not do it for this one. So with that ranking in mind, I will keep the order even though I have now seen evidence that I might have changed my opinion. But with a quick explanation of why, The Rock will be first simply because I feel like I will use it the most. Techno is second because I really feel like it is the most unique and I, it would be very hard for me to replicate that look finding other colors and other palettes. It would take me forever trying to find ones that I feel like would be similar to it. So we'll put Techno second. I had Funk in third, but truthfully, as much as I like that one purple shade in Funk, I'm actually going to put Country Western in second because I really like these colors. These are colors when I'm choosing neutral colors. They're that warmer toned with the oranges and the yellows rather than just basic browns. These are what I would choose. So this will be on my third in my, uh, my list, followed by Funk. Funk was pretty, but a lot of the colors were underwhelming. I feel like there are better purple colors out there, but there was that one center color, the really vibrant glittery purple shade was absolutely gorgeous. And I really liked that one. Pop, we kind of went over. Pop was just very basic. I can definitely recreate those colors um, it, without much effort. And then um, classical is going to be my least favorite because I just felt like it was very chalky in terms of application. There was a lot of fallout. Personally didn't find anything revolutionary or spectacular about the colors and even though I had high hopes from them. 
Um, even though when I walked around the rest of the day, I did like my makeup. So it wasn't like I hated it. I just don't think that it's necessarily worth, worth your $18 if you're buying that individually. So that is my official ranking. We will do some uh, some photos of me in my country Western. I got a nice hat and everything to wear. So look forward to that. But um, yeah, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. We are still going to post the one video, which was uh, conceptualized right here in front of your very eyes. You got to see it here first. So wait for that video to come out probably tomorrow. But yeah, so we will do a full cohesive deep evaluation of whether or not this kit is worth it and which palettes I would recommend buying if you're going to buy them individually. And um, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all staying really safe and you are very uh, happy right now as, as in everything going crazy and, and all that stuff. I hope you guys are well. And um, just know that I love you deeply no matter what you're going through. And um, I'm always here hopefully as some sort of a, a distraction for whatever craziness or sadness you may be dealing with. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.